to create a new sequence, select File New. ElectroPro software has four tabs, Creation, Configuration, View Graph, and View Sheet. So first, in the Creation window, select Line for the 2D acquisition. Electrodes will be located along the X coordinate. Then press Next. In the X width spacing, you enter the spacing between the electrodes in the field, so 5 meters in that example. And the X width size, this is the number of electrodes, so 48 in that case. It can be 72, 96, or other, depending on your system. The X width offset, this is the position of the first electrodes, so 0 meters by default. Let automatic grid validate it for a standard array and click on create grid. Electrodes will be located along X and Y, Y equals 0 by default. And electrode 1 is located in 0 meters and electrode 48 is located in 235 meters. So first electrode 1, last electrode 48. After that, you can click on configuration tab. In the configuration window, we're going to define first the timing parameters, and first the name of the sequence that will be stored in the syscall. Select the electrode array, so dipole, dipole in that case. Enter the number of reception channels, so 10 channels in case of the syscall pro, two for the syscall junior R1 plus or R2. So keep 10 in that example. Choose row for resistivity mode, and select 500 milliseconds for the injection timing. Most parameters are related to the quality controls. So 136 are the by default parameters. It means that if the quality factor, it means that the standard deviation is better than 1%, number of stacks measured will be 3. If not, it will be 6. About the voltage, keep VP equal 50 millivolt by default. It means that the unit will try to inject a voltage to receive each time 50 millivolt. Keep 800 volt for the maximum VAP. In that window, we are going to define the depth levels. So you can see the different spacing, it means the dipole lengths. And we are going to define six levels in that case for each spacing. So spacing changes, so the dipole lens changes to increase the signal to noise ratio. So in that examples, we create six levels for 1A to A3A and so on, up to the maximum, which is 49 meters depth in that case. So let 10 for the number of reception channels and for the optimization process and keep the three options validated. Then click on Create Standard Sequence. This window shows information about the sequence and you can visualize, for example, the estimated time to realize the sequence, so about 15 minutes in that case. Just click on OK, enter the name of the file that will be stored in the computer, so it can be the same name that in the syscall. And after that, you can click on View Graph. In the View Graph window, we can visualize the report point of the sequence along the X profile and along the Z investigation test. Different colors correspond to the different spacing defined in the sequence 1A to A3A and so on. The black circles correspond to the gap filler quadruples. These are the quadruples that have been added for the optimization process. In the status bar, you can visualize an estimation of the investigation best, the number of measurements, and you can see also an estimation of the acquisition time to perform the sequence. Then click on View Sheet. In the view sheet window, in the left part, you can visualize the position of the electrodes. So 48 electrodes located in X, Y, Z. So X, this is the length of the profile. Y equals 0 by default. And Z can be the topography. It can be entered after data download in process software. In the right part, we can see the quadruples that will be measured. 
for each quad repulse, you can see the A, B, M, and electrodes that will be used. So A, B injection, M, and reception. Geometrical factors is computed for each quad repulse, and you can have also an idea about the estimation depth. Those windows can be printed or can be exported as CSV file. Now, to upload the sequence into the unit, validate the sequence, select File Communication Port, USB, and then select File Upload. We'll get a message showing that in the syscall, you need to select the right menu and connect the USB cable between the syscall and the PC.